Good day, Father Matt Williams here at my park car. Happy St. Patrick's Day. That's why I'm wearing my green sweater today. Okay, so I want to go back to the story that we heard in uh, yesterday's first reading at Daily Mass. And um, it's from the prophet Daniel, uh, chapter 3. And it's this great story about the three young men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Say those three names three times really fast. These three young men in their heroic faith, they will not bow down to the God of Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar had made this ordinance that whenever this bell rings, they were supposed to bow down to his God, right? But they like, no, we won't because we don't believe in that God. He's a pagan God. We believe in the God of Israel, the God who has revealed himself to us. We will not bow down. And so uh, Nebuchadnezzar threatens them. If you don't bow down, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you into the fiery furnace. I'm going to burn you, right? You're going to die. And they said, you can do whatever you want to us. Um, we're not going to worship false gods. And if our God wants to save us from the fire furnace, so let it be. And if he doesn't, so let it be. We will remain true and faithful to the one true God. I want you to think about this fire furnace because this fire furnace in many ways can represent the furnace of suffering. That could be physical, spiritual, emotional, a trial about faith, whatever it is, that fire, that burning inferno is one of great suffering and trial. And the reality is, is that you and I find ourselves in that fire at some point in our lives, if not regularly. And what happens in the midst of the fire? What is God saying to us? Because God has a plan for us in the midst of that fire. And it's this, to keep being faithful to the Lord, to keep trusting in him. And in the midst of the fire, God will work miracles in me. He will purify me. Remember, Jesus says, whoever becomes a, a, whoever commits sin becomes a slave of sin. Well, in, when we are being purified in this fire, when we continue to praise God and to follow him and to be faithful to him and to live by faith, we become purified of our sins. I was reading from Father Gately not too long ago in a conversation he had with a priest. And uh, Father Gately was was talking with this priest about um, trust and what is like, what does prayer look like? What's the fruit? What is the fruit of, what's the fruit of trust in, in our prayer look like? And the priest was saying it's praise and thanksgiving, that we are called to be a people of praise and thanksgiving. And that especially when we are in the fire, you're going through difficult times, it's time to praise God, to give thanks to God. Because giving praise and thanks to God is a prayer of great trust. See, here's the thing. Remember what Jesus said that um, when he was talking about the Heavenly Father in Luke's Gospel? He says, you know, what father among you, if your son asked for a fish, would give him a, a scorpion or a snake? Or what, what son of you, if he asked his dad for a piece of bread, that the dad would give him a, a rock or a stone? He says, if you who are evil or wicked know how to give good things to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give good things to those who who asked to his children, will give the Holy Spirit to his children. So the father, we, we need to trust our dad. So when we're in the midst of the fire, like these three young men, Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego, when we're in that fiery furnace, could be physical, spiritual, emotional suffering, whatever that might be. When we are in that fire furnace, we are called to remember that our father is a good, good father. We are called to trust him. Do not depart from the course that you're on, but rather continue to have faith and to trust that God will work through this suffering. He does. He did for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They weren't spared. They weren't, they didn't burn to death. They were spared. And as a result of that, Nebuchadnezzar bowed down and blessed and praised the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So I don't know what fire you're going through right now, or you may be going through, but I know this. We are called to have great faith and trust to our Heavenly Father because He's a good, good Father. And our prayer, especially in the fire, is one of praise and thanksgiving. God bless you.